let's open with the water plate. <coughs> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your mercy in watching us through the night. And we want to pray that you would help us now to understand your truth. These difficult topics that without your Spirit, Lord, we will be left in darkness. Therefore, open our eyes that we might behold the wondrous things out of thy law. And um, I pray that you would guide and lead us down now through these thoughts. And that they would strengthen us to enter into this uh, war against self dass sie uns stärken in diesem Krieg gegen das Selbst einzutreten und dass sie unser vollständiges Vertrauen in dich setzen und wir bitten das im Namen Jesu Amen. Amen. Okay, we turn back just finish a thought off from yesterday to Genesis chapter 40 wir wollen einen Gedanken von gestern schließen, wenn wir zu 1. Mose 39 gehen. Wenn wir just go to um, Genesis 39, Vers 23, the, the, the last verse. Gehen wir zu 1. Mose 39, Vers 23, also der letzte Vers. Okay, it was the, we're speaking about the end of these three days. Right. Das hat er über das Ende dieser drei Tage gesprochen. Because Joseph was cast into uh, a prison. Joseph wurde ins Gefängnis geworfen. He was set up over the, the whole prison. Er wurde right. über das ganze Gefängnis gesetzt. God was with him, he was blessed. Gott war mit ihm und er wurde gesegnet. And then the baker and the butter, they are also thrown into prison. Und der Bäcker und der Mundschenk werden auch ins Gefängnis geworfen. Well, Jane tells. Und er entfaltet ihre Träume. And one was representing the righteous, they were going to be harvested here. Und die einen, der eine stellte die Gerechten dar, die dann hier am Ende ähm, geerntet werden. Okay, and when he was harvested, he was going to stand before the king and give him the cup. Und right? als er geerntet wurde, sollte er vor dem König stehen und ihm den Kelch geben. And the other one Uh, was representing the foolish who was going to be hanged and receive the curse. Und der andere stellte die Törichten da, die verhängt werden sollten und den Fluch erhalten. And Joseph said to the butler that when he gets restored to, re to remember him, right? Und Joseph hatte dann zum Mundschenk gesagt, wenn er wiederhergestellt wird, sollte er an ihn denken. But verse 23 it says, Wenn Vers 23 sagt es, Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him. Das ist Kapitel 40, Vers 23. Right? So, wh wh why is that of prophetic significance? Warum ist das prophetisch relevant, von prophetischer Relevanz? Okay, but, but, but why is that that's okay? But why is this prophetic significance? Seit der Zeit des Lebens vergessen, warum ist das prophetisch signifikant? Why why did you mention that? Because for 70 years he's forgot there's one king who came in light. He says he's he's forgot. Okay, but seven that's speaking about the papacy, right? Okay, so he's not forgotten for 70 years. Also das Papsttum wird ja 70 Jahre vergessen, aber er nicht. No. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm asking you to just, I'm asking you to explain what, why are you coming to that thought. Warum kommst du zu diesem Gedanken? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a right thought, it's the same thought I have, but you're just saying because the papacy 
it says he, you, in fact, you said he's forgotten for 70 years, but that's not really. The, <coughs> yes, but okay, right? Five are fallen, one is. It's marking this point right here, right? Five are fallen, and one is. It's marking this point. Okay, so the papacy is forgotten for 70 years, and then, then what? Das Papst wird vergessen, 70 Jahre, und was ist dann? What happens after the 70 years? Was geschieht nach den 70 Jahren? She's remembered, right? Und sie wird wieder gedacht. So you have this principle, right? This is what we'll look at. The principle is that you get forgotten and then get remembered, right? Hat also dieses Prinzip, das ist dasselbe, dass man vergessen wird und wieder, dass man wieder an sie denkt. Okay, but this is, is speaking about an evil uh, entity, right? Spricht aber über eine, über eine böse Macht. Joseph is not evil. He's not been forgotten for 70 years and then he's going to be remembered, right? Joseph is ja nicht böse. Er wird nicht 70 Jahre lang vergessen und dann wird wieder an ihn gedacht. But somehow you have this same principle here because when we go, if we go to Genesis 41, hier hat man aber irgendwie dasselbe Prinzip, weil wenn wir zu 1. Mose 41 gehen, because it began in, in verse, uh, in verse 1, Das hat in Vers 1 angefangen. And it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh dreamed, and behold, he stood by the river. So we made this point that he's now at the same point where Nebuchadnezzar has his dream. Right? Wir haben diesen Punkt gemacht, dass er jetzt an demselben Punkt ist, wo Nebuchadnezzar seinen Traum hat. Which is right here, right? Und das ist ja hier. Okay. So two full years later is a symbol of this time period, right? Zwei volle Jahre später ist ein Symbol von dieser Zeitspanne. Because the, there's where he gets forgotten, right? And it's now two full years later, right? Hier wird er vergessen und dann ist es zwei volle Jahre später. Okay, so that would be this time here, right? Das wäre dann diese Zeit hier. Okay, so it says, and, and he has his dream, but um, None of the wise men, none of those worldly wise men were able to interpret the dream, right? Niemand der weltlich Weisen konnte ihnen den Traum deuten. And if you go down to verse 9, Gehen wir zu Vers 9. Then speak the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my faults this day. Pharaoh was wroth with the servants and put me inward and the captain of the guard's house, both me and the chief baker, and we dreamed a dream in one night. I and he, we dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dream. And there was with us a young man, a Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard, and we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man according to his dream, he did interpret. So what's the butler doing? Was macht der Mundschenk? Yeah, he's remembering Joseph, right? Er erinnert sich an Joseph. So, Joseph is forgotten, and two full years he's remembered. Right? Okay, so it's Pharaoh's birthday at the end, and it's Pharaoh's birthday at the beginning, right? So you just see the same principle in this little time of peace as you see in the bigger time of peace, but... He's righteous, it's evil, but it's the same principle. Right? Man sieht also dasselbe Prinzip in dieser kleinen Zeit des Friedens, so wie in dieser großen Zeit äh, des Friedens. Und er, der einzige Unterschied ist, dass sie böse ist und er ist ja gerecht. R r right? Okay, so... Um, mm -hmm. Just want to try... And, and we know, that, therefore, Genesis 41 leads... Um, leads down to this point where Joseph stands before the king and tells him what's going to shortly come to pass, right? Wir wissen dann, dass 1. Mose 41 ähm, damit endet, dass Joseph dann hier ähm, vor dem König steht und er sagt ihm, was in Kürze geschehen soll. Right? And, and what is it that's going to shortly come to pass? Und was soll in Kürze geschehen? Seven years of of plenty is what's going to come to pass, right? Right, and the seven years of plenty is the time of peace, right? Okay, and this time of peace was represented by seven days of feasting, right? And the book of Esther. 
Buch Esther. Right? Seven days, seven years, right? Sieben Tage, sieben Jahre. This, is this also a feast? Ist das auch ein Fest? What was in, the, what was in Pharaoh's dream? Was war in Pharaoh's Traum? Come on, the seven years of plenty, what's in the dream? Who's eating what? The, the cows are eating, they're feasting in a meadow, right? Okay, and, it, and if you parallel this, who's the cow eating in the meadow? The, the king. Right? Is the king making a feast here for seven days? Yes. Yeah. And the, the, this feast is representing a righteous feast. It's Vashti's feast that was unrighteous, right? Okay, now there'll also, so although there's seven years of plenty, there, there'll also be an unrighteous feast taking place at the same time, right? Zur gleichen Zeit ein ungerechtes Fest stattfinden. Right? Because there's always a righteous message and an unrighteous. Satan will be busy there trying to deceive people. Es gibt immer eine gerechte Botschaft und eine ungerechte, weil Satan wird dort auch eifrig sein, um Leute zu verführen. Yeah, da Daniel 6, for instance, right? Zum Beispiel in Daniel 6. Those men are busy trying to uh, conjure up some way of bringing Daniel down, right? Diese Leute dort, die versuchen, einen Weg zu finden, also sie sind ganz eifrig, einen Weg zu finden, Daniel irgendwie zu fangen. Okay, the whole, the whole purpose of this was so that we could see this structure in here. Und der ganze right? Zweck davon ist, damit wir diese Struktur hier drin sehen konnten. Okay, that there was a, a little time Right there. Das hier eine kleine Zeit des Friedens. So, and what we have is a, is a fractal. This represents this, right? Wir haben also ein Fraktal. Das hier stellt das hier da. Yes. Okay. And we we have to see those repeating parts. So I've given all the evidences so you can see that very clear. Right? Wir müssen diese sich wiederholenden Muster sehen und ich habe jetzt die Beweise gegeben, damit wir das sehr klar sehen können. So when you have that, Matthew 22. It's much easier to see it, right? Wenn das hat, dann ist Matthäus 22 viel einfacher zu sehen. Because there's three groups in Matthew 22, right? Es gibt ja drei Gruppen in Matthäus 22. So he sends his servant to raise up this group, right? Er sendet seinen Knecht, um diese Gruppe aufzurichten. So, and, and then it says, um, they did not come, right? Es sagt, sie sind nicht gekommen. So then he sends forth another group and he says, Bring in the, the lame, the halt, the blind, the maimed, right? Er sendet eine andere Gruppe und er sagt, bringt die, äh, ja, die Lahmen und die Blinden und, äh, ja, also all diese Verkrüppelten hinein. Okay, right, and then get to the end here, but they uh, smote his servants, the, the king was wroth and burned up the city. Right. Und dann kommen wir zum Ende, dann haben sie seine Knechte geschlagen, der König war zornig und hat die Stadt verbrannt. He says, yet there is room, right? Und er sagt, es gibt noch Platz. And then he brings in the hedges and highways, right, which is the Gentiles, right? Und dann bringt er diejenigen von den Hecken und Zäunen rein, was die Heiden sind. It's exactly the same here. First Joseph, then the baker and the butler, right? Das ist genau dasselbe hier. Zuerst Joseph und dann der Bäcker und der Mundschenk. Right. Um, now, can you look, look, look in the drawer, please, see if I've got a new, new pen for it. There should be a better one somewhere there. Ah, uh, maybe there is. Okay, thanks. Baker. So, when you're studying the Bible, it's like a huge puzzle, right? And you've got to put the pieces together, piece by piece. 
mal die Bibel studiert, ist, dass wir ein großes Puzzle, man muss eben Stück für Stück zusammenfügen. Right, so, God's people, Gentiles, right, it's just the same pattern, right? Also Gottes Volk und dann hier die Heiden, das ist einfach dasselbe Muster. However, th this, um, this group here, which is here, right? Aber diese Gruppe hier, die ja hier ist, ist die erste Gruppe, right? Die erste Gruppe. But there's a servant sent to raise up this first group, right? Es gibt einen Knecht, der gesandt ist, um diese erste Gruppe aufzurichten. Right? Just go back to Matthew 22. Gehen wir noch mal zu Matthäus 22. And also, when I first looked at this, didn't know how to answer this. Since das erstmals angeschaut hatten, wusste ich auch nicht, wie man das beantwortet. But, um, verse 3. Vers 3. It says, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. So prior, prior to this time period, he has servants, right? Vor dieser Zeitspanne hat er Knechte. Yes. Richtig. Because he's sending them to call them right here, Weil right? Er sendet sie, um sie hier drin zu rufen. And then when, once these are done, right, they are sent to make the call here, right? Weil das sie dann abgeschlossen sind, sind sie gesandt, um den Ruf hier drin zu geben. Right? So we have to identify those things in God's word, right? Wir müssen diese Dinge in Gottes Wort identifizieren. So, we know that the ones that are calling here are Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Zephaniah, Joel, etc., right? Wir wissen, dass diejenigen, die hier drin den Ruf geben, in Jeremia, Jesaja, Ezekiel, Joel, so once this is complete, what you have here is this is you'd have the raising up of well, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, etc. Right? Und wenn das hier also abgeschlossen ist, dann hätte man hier diese Aufrichtung von Jesaja, Jeremia, Joel und so weiter. So this would be Jeremiah 1, right? For instance, where Jeremiah comes out of the the belly, right? Das wäre dann Jeremia Kapitel 1, wo Jeremia aus dem Bauch kommt. Even here, because he said, I send you to the nations, right? Also das wäre sogar hier, weil er sagte, ich sende dich zu den Nationen. Okay, and then when you finish, you, you have all these scripts, but the, these are the ones that, that would be now at the beginning of the little time of peace, and it's always where they're sent forth, right? Aber, um, das wären dann diejenigen, die dann am Anfang der kleinen Zeit des Friedens ist, Und dort wirst du ja immer ausgesandt. Right, and they have to begin to give the warning before the sign comes. Und sie müssen anfangen, die Warnung zu geben, vor das Zeichen kommt. So, because when the sign comes, God's people will have to react to that sign. Weil right? wenn das Zeichen kommt, dann muss Gottes Volk auf dieses Zeichen reagieren können. Okay, so, but it says here, it says, he sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden. Right? Und er sagt ja, er hat seine Knechte gesandt, um diejenigen zu rufen, die geladen waren. So, prior to this point, right, because where he would send those servants would be right here, right? Also, vor diesem Punkt, es wäre ja dann hier, wo er diese Knechte senden würde. Right? You are always being sent at the beginning of the time of peace, du right? Du bist immer am Anfang der Zeit des Friedens gesagt. Okay, which would be, which would be here, right? Und das wäre hier. Okay, so, right here, the Lord has to have servants raised up. Hier muss der Herr Knechte haben, die aufgerichtet sind. Okay. And that, I just want to leave you with that thought. And um, but, but if, if we, just before I go on to the next point, Joseph, where was, um, for instance, Joseph was right back here, right? Joseph zum Beispiel war ja schon hier. Potiphar's house, he said over, da right? Da wurde über Potiphar's Haus gesetzt. And then you come to here and she says, lie with me. Dann kommt man hier hin und sie sagt, leg dich zu mir. And so Joseph is here set up. Also Joseph wird hier aufgerichtet. Here set up. Hier aufgerichtet. Right. Um, here set up. Hier aufgerichtet. <laughs> right. And then he goes, he goes all the way through to the end, mm -hmm. right? Der geht ja bis zum Ende. So who would Joseph represent? Wen würde also Josef darstellen? A person. Eine Person. 
No, so what does he represent? Nein, also was stellt er da? The, the movement, right? Die Bewegung. Everybody, jo Joseph just represents the progression of the movement going down through each one of these stages. Joseph right? stellt einfach eine, äh, ein Fortschreiten der Bewegung dar an jedem Stadium. Okay. The, the, remember, these are the symbols, right? Just like Vashti is a symbol, just like Esther is a symbol, etc., etc. Right? And Joseph is a type of Christ. And Joseph is a type of Christ. And Christ means the an anointed one, right? Christus bedeutet der gesalbte. Okay, so you can you can just see that Joseph is an illustration of the movement, and everybody that gets called and joins that movement illustrates Joseph. Okay, so Joseph would be the servants that are sent forth here, right? Joseph wäre diese Knechte, die hier vorwärts gesandt werden. Right? Just like he was the one that was righteous with God and said over Potiphar's house here, right? Genauso wie er derjenige war, der gerecht mit Gott war und hier über Potiphar's Haus gesetzt wurde. Okay, right. So, let that thought sit in your minds, right? Also der Gedanke kann jetzt in unserem Verstand bleiben. Okay, now go back to the notes that, that I've reposted. Jetzt gehen wir zu den Notizen zurück, die ich wieder gepostet hatte. Uh, one, one question. Ja. In 22 verse 4, Matthew, mm -hmm. uh, it says he sent forth other servants, but what you just explained, uh, we can just drop the word other. Right? No, why? Why? Because um, it is no, not some other group of servants. Of course. It is? Yeah, of course. The, 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 there are people joining the movement all the time, right? Also ähm, in Vers 4, wenn es sagt, dass er andere Knechte sendet, ähm, das bedeutet einfach, dass es Leute sind, die sich der Bewegung die ganze Zeit angeschlossen haben. Okay, so if I, if, I, if I was going to take your argument in Vers 3, right? Also in Vers 3. It says, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wind, and they would not come. So nobody came. Und wenn man dieses Argument nimmt, dann würde es ja heißen, dass niemand kommen würde. In Vers so there would 3. be no other servants. Dann gibt es also gar keine anderen Where, where did he get them from? Where had does he done a Okay, so that is, 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 we, we are not to look at these things through our, our own eyes, right? Ja die Dinge nicht durch no, of course I just don't want to go over something I'm not sure about. No, 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 I, I, I get your point, but that, that's what I'm saying. Jo Joseph, I mean, J Joseph, could, for instance, let's say Joseph represents here, 20 people, just for an argument sake, right? When he gets here, will it be the same 20 people? No, right? Some will have joined and some will have left, right? It's always the case, right? Manche haben sich ihm angeschlossen, manche haben verlassen. Okay, and so when they get sent forth here, by the time you get here, it, it will be a bigger group, right? But will everybody be there that was there before? No. Sister White also says, where are the standard bearers that were there at the beginning, right? Okay, so when you, you just understand that, so when you bring all these thoughts together, it's a he's sending forth a different group now than was um, originally there, right? So that's what it means by other servants. Wenn all diese Dinge zusammenbringt, kann man sehen, dass er also andere Leute sendet, die damals noch nicht da waren. Okay, we get that. Kann jeder diesen Punkt verstehen? I mean, you, you've got to really go and look at all the principles and points in, in order to understand this, right? Man muss wirklich alle Prinzipien und Punkte anschauen, um das zu verstehen. Okay, so if we go, go to the notes, right? Gehen wir zu den Notizen. And under the heading, it's on page 3. Und auf, unter der Überschrift auf Seite 3. It says, Destruction of Jerusalem by Assyria, Rome and Babylon. Right. Now, Assyria didn't destroy uh, um, Jerusalem, but it 
came to destroy Jerusalem. Assyrien hat Jerusalem nicht zerstört, aber es kam, um es zu zerstören. Okay, and it's, we, we have to see the relation of these three powers. Right? Wir müssen den Bezug zu diesen uh, drei Mächten sehen. Oh. Um, do, do you have the German quotes? Also I posted them. Okay, I'll maybe just let me go back and repost them. Die deutschen Zitate kommen auch gleich. No, actually, I didn't um, realize I didn't even post. Let me just. I didn't do it then because I didn't think I would get on to this yes. part, which obviously I didn't. This one? After PH, this one about the structure. Uh, could be. Yes. Maybe I just missed it there. I can just translate the document. No, no, it's already translated once. Just. Yes, they're, 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 they're all there. Okay. You can just forward them. Okay, so. Um, one second, I'll do it. Okay, it says, not one Christian perished in the destruction of Jerusalem, but by whom? But by Rome, right? Okay, so go back to Matthew 22, verse 7, right? It says, but when the king heard thereof, he was wroth and sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city, right? And this is what Rome did, right? Das hat der Rom ja getan. Okay, so, um, and that would be right here, das right? Wäre ja hier. Okay, and um, so, uh, the point is, it, Marseille, his armies, and we, we spent some time recently going through this. Right? Yes, so just remind us, go to Joel chapter 2. So, Erinnerung, gehen wir zu Joel 2. It says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Right? And this in history was Babylon, right? In the Geschichte war das ja Babylon. So Rome, he sent Rome against Jerusalem and he burned it up. Right. Okay, and here he also says he sends this northern army, right? And if you just go to the book of Jeremiah, because remember Joel and Jeremiah are these prophets that are, I'm saying, are raised up here to give this warning message, right? Right. Go to Jeremiah chapter 4. Okay, verse 5. It says, Declare ye in Judah, and publish in Jerusalem, and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land, cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves, and let us go into the defense cities. Set up the standard towards Zion, retire, stay not. For what? I, who's I? Ich, also wer ist ich? The, the Lord, right? The Herr. For I will bring evil from the north, and a great destruction. It's the same northern army that's marked in Joel, right? Okay, so the, the Lord is sending 
his army, der right? Herr sendet also seine Armee. And if you go to Jeremiah 25, Dann geht zu Jeremia 25, Vers 9, Vers 9. It says, Behold, I will send and take all the families of the north, saith the Lord, and Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant. Who is he? Where is that? His servant, der right? Knecht. And I will bring them against this land, and against the inhabitants thereof, and against all these nations round about, and will utterly destroy them, and make them an astonishment, and a hissing, and a perpetual desolation. Right, so you see that the Lord sends forth his army, right? Man kann also sehen, der Herr sendet seine Armeen aus. And if you just, so if you just go back, in fact, before we go there, one more, just go to Isaiah chapter 10, because we're going to deal with this shortly. Gehen wir noch zu Jesaja 10, weil das werden wir auch gleich behandeln. In verse 5. In verse 5. It says, O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Okay, so the Assyrian is the rod of God's anger, right? Verse 6. Dann lesen wir Vers 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath and will give him a charge to take the spoil to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. Right? And the tread the treading down of God's people is in Matthew 24, right? Das Zertreten von Gottes Volk finden wir in Matthäus 24. Yes? Let's just remind ourselves, let's go there. Gehen wir dahin. So we've just dealt here with Rome, Babylon and Assyria, right? Okay. Gerade Rom, Babylon und Assyrien behandelt. If you just go to Matthew 24. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 24. In fact, it's not Matthew 24, Luke 21, excuse also ich me. Ich meinte doch Lukas 21. In Vers 23. Vers 23. It says, but woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be what? Was wird sein? Great, great distress. And what's the great distress? Große Drangsal. Was ist die große Drangsal? The, the great tribulation. This time period, right? Große Trübsal. Das ist ja distress in the land, right? Diese Zeitspanne. Es wird eben Drangsal über dem Land geben. And wrath upon this people. So what's coming upon God's people? Was kommt über Gottes Volk? Wrath, right? So. Matthew 22, verse 7, it says, And the Lord was wroth, and sent forth his armies, and burned up their city. Right? Matthew 22, verse 7, sagt, dass der Herr zornig war, und er hat seine Armeen gesandt, um die Stadt zu verbrennen. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. What will they be? Was werden sie? Trodden down, right? Werden werden. Rome, Babylon and Assyria are these is this northern army that treads down God's people, right? Rome, Babylon and Assyria, that is this north army that God's Volk <coughs> Right? Richtig. Okay. So when you come to the, back to this quote Gehen wir zurück zu diesem Zitat. It doesn't mention it in Matthew 22, but it mentions it here. Right? In Matthäus 22 erwähnt es das nicht, aber hier erwähnt es das. Not one Christian perished in the destruction of Jerusalem. So here it tells you that there was many people that didn't die when he burned up the city. Right? Hier sagt es uns, dass viele Leute nicht gestorben sind, als er die Stadt verbrannt hat. Okay, that's why we can't read one parable alone, we've got to bring them all together. We've got to bring all the stories and it will explain itself to us, right? Deswegen können wir ein Gleichnis nicht alleine lesen, sondern wir müssen alle Geschichten, alle Gleichnisse zusammenbringen, dass es uns das erklärt. It says, Christ had given his disciples warning and all who believed his words watched for the promised 
sign, and the sign was when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, right? Das Zeichen war, wenn ihr Jerusalem von Armeen umlagert seht. Okay, and, and in this context, the sign is here, right? In diesem Kontext ist das Zeichen hier. Right? Okay, you, you, you'll see, right? Ihr werdet sehen. Okay, we, we took some times and struggles to understand this point, right? Zeit und, uh, ja, Kämpfe bedeutet, dass wir das eben hier verstehen konnten. It says, when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, said Jesus, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. After the Romans, under Cestius, had surrounded the city, they unexpectedly abandoned the siege when everything seemed favorable for an immediate attack. Right? So, what you have here, you have here Cestius, right? Also man hat hier ja Cestius. When you see this sign, you have to flee, right? Wenn du dieses Zeichen siehst, musst du fliehen. Okay, when, when Cestius comes here and surrounds Jerusalem, what, what sort of time is it? Wenn Cestius kommt und Jerusalem umlagert, was für eine Zeit ist das? Trouble. Time of trouble, trouble right? Eine Zeit der Trübsal. Okay, right? And, um, but when Cestius flees away, what would you not have anymore? Wenn Cestius aber wegfliegt, was hätte man dann nicht mehr? Okay, so what would you have? Peace. You have peace, right? so it must bring it to here, right? Also, es muss ein Frieden sein, das müsste hier. I mean, I, I spent this time showing you this other day that this little time of peace is, although you can't read it in Matthew, Mark and Luke, we read the quote that puts it in there, right? Und ich habe ähm, letztens eben das gezeigt, dass obwohl man über diese Zeit des Friedens in Matthäus, Markus und Lukas nicht lesen kann, haben wir dieses Zitat gelesen, wo das steht. Okay, just go, go back to Matthew 24. Gehen wir zurück zu Matthäus 24. In Vers 8. Vers 8. It says, All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Which things? Welche Sachen sind der Anfang der Wien? Yes, but follow the, follow the thought. We're just leading from one. Th so what things would it be referring to? Wenn ihr den Gedanken folgt, auf welches würde es sich das... Yes, Cestius, right? When Cestius surrounds Jerusalem, that's when all these things begin, right? Wenn Cestius Jerusalem umlagert, dann würden all diese Dinge passieren. Right? And we made this point that verse 9, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. This is the Second World War, right? Wir haben den Punkt gemacht in Vers 9, das wäre der Zweite Weltkrieg. Right? Shaken of the angry nations, right? Die Erschütterung der zornigen Nationen. But when this begins, does the sign now repeat? Wenn das hier aber anfängt, wiederholt sich das Zeichen? Right, okay, yeah. just go to the, the next uh, quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. Next quote, right? Zitat. Says Christ gave his disciples a sign of the ruin to come on Jerusalem, and he told them how to escape. When ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, same sign as we just saw for Cestius, right? Zeichen, was wir auch jetzt bei Cestius gesehen haben. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in their countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. This warning was to be heeded forty years after at the destruction of Jerusalem. The Christians obeyed the warning, and not a Christian perished in the fall of Jerusalem. The city, right? Okay. So, when you take that, this would be right here, Titus, right? Wenn man das nimmt, dann wäre das ja hier Titus. Forty years later, right? Vierzig Jahre später. So, what parallel truths do we get that brings you to this point? Welche Parallelen? Forty years later. Wahrheiten haben wir 
also 40 Jahre später, die uns zu diesem Punkt führen. Okay, so why you mention the baptism? I don't really know how to reconcile this, this, but it leads you to the final test. No, just to think of, see, the warning was given to be heeded 40 years after. Who gave the warning? Christ on the And where was he? On the Mount of Olives, right? So he's standing here, right? So, um, sagte, dass die Warnung gegeben wurde und 40 Jahre später kam. Das und Christus stand also hier auf dem Ölberg. Right? Und hat die Warnung Because he's just said, your house is left mm. until desolate. When did he say that? Und er hat gesagt, euer Haus ist euch wüst hinterlassen. Ähm, wann hat er das gesagt? What year was it? Welches Jahr war das? 31, right? Das war das Jahr 31. So, if you include... The year 31, right? 40 years later brings you to where? Das Jahr 31 mit einschließt, 40 Jahre später führen uns wohin bringt? 70 AD, which was when Titus came, right? 70 nach Christus, also das war wo Titus kam. Okay, he came three and a half years before that point, right? Und Cestius kam ja dreieinhalb Jahre vor diesem Punkt. Right, very important that, that we understand that, right? Sehr wichtig, dass wir das verstehen. So we understand Christ standing on the Mount of Olives is parallel in the baptism, right? Also versteht, dass Christus auf dem Ölberg steht, ist es ja parallel mit der Taufe. So when Christ was baptized, where did he go? Als Christus getauft wurde, wo ging er hin? Into the wilderness for how long? In die Wüste, wie lange? 40 days, right? 40 Tage. And that 40 days brings you to here, right? 40 Tage führen dich ja hier. For who comes? <coughs> Wer kommt? The, the tempter comes, right? Der Versucher kommt. Okay, and that's important, right? We just confirm this point, right? Das ist wichtig, das werden wir jetzt bestätigen. Because in, in Matthew 24, verse 9, Matthäus 24, Vers 9, it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Right? When do you become offended? When nimmst du Anstoß? Right. Yes. In the time of temptation, right? In the Zeit der Versuchung. Um, okay, it's in Luke 8, verse uh, 13, right? It's in Lukas 8, verse 13. So when this sign comes right here, it says many are going to be offended, right? Dieses Zeichen hier kommt, sagt es, viele werden Anstoß nehmen. Luke, chapter 8, verse 13. Lukas 8, Vers 13. It says, they on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have not root which for a while believe and in the time of temptation fall away, right? This falling away takes place. Right, because you know it says that day shall not come except the come falling away first and the man of sin be revealed, right? Speaking about this time, right? It says this day will not come, it says that it will come back and the man of sin will be revealed and the man of sin will be revealed. That day shall not come except the come of falling away first and the man of sin be revealed. Also, es ist dieser Tag, der nicht kommen wird, es sei denn, dass es ein Wegfallen stattfindet und der Mensch der Sünde sich offenbart. Right, right. Okay, so when the when the tempter comes and he tempted them, how many times? Der Versucher kam und wie oft hat er ihn versucht? Three times, right? Einmal. Okay, then the third time. He rebukes him, parallel and when he rebukes the devil in the story of uh, Joshua the, and the angel, right? Und beim dritten Mal tadelt er ihn dann und das ist parallel äh, zu der Geschichte, wenn äh, Christus ihn bei, in der Geschichte von Josua tadelt. Okay, so um, go back to the notes. Gehen wir zurück zu den Notizen. So. You have, uh, Cestes was a 
Sign. Right? Titus was a sign. Titus war ein Zeichen. They were to flee. Sie sollten fliehen. They were to flee. Sie sollten right? fliehen. Okay. So now go back to the first quote that we were reading. Right? Okay, Let's okay. read it through. Gehen wir zurück zum ersten Zitat, was wir gelesen haben, und wir lesen das jetzt durch. It says, not one Christian perished in the destruction of Jerusalem. Christ had given his disciples warning, and all who believed his words watched for the promised sign. When ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, said Jesus, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. After the Romans under Cestius had surrounded the city, They unexpectedly abandoned the siege when everything seemed favorable for an immediate attack. The besieged, despairing of successful resistance, were on the point of surrender. Okay, it was right at the last moment, right? When the Roman general withdrew his forces without the least apparent reason. But God's merciful providence was directing events for the good of his own people. The promised sign had been given to the waiting Christians and now an opportunity was offered for all who would to obey the Saviour's warning. Events were so overruled that neither Jews nor Romans should hinder the flight of the Christians. So in the prophetic narrative here, Where are they fleeing? In der prophetischen Erzählung, wo fliehen sie? And, and based upon what we've just looked at. Um, basierend darauf, was wir gerade angeschaut haben. Right here, because we're still dealing with Cestius, right? Bei der Zeit des Friedens, weil wir handeln ja immer noch mit Cestius. So they're fleeing before Titus even comes, right? Sie fliehen also bevor Titus kommt. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, because when the sign for Titus comes, they were also to flee. So it's two different fleeings, right? When the sign from Titus comes, then they should also flee. Those are two different fleeings. Right. This fleeing has been marked at the end here, right? This fleeing will be here at the end. So where God is delivering them, providing a way of escape for them, right? God has freed them, where He has a way. Für sie schafft oder ein Weg des Entkommens. Yes, right. So, but also at this point we want to see this. Zum selben Punkt wollen wir auch das sehen. It says the promised sign had been given to the waiting Christians, and now an opportunity was offered for all who would to obey the Savior's warning. Events were so overruled that neither Jews nor Romans should hinder the flight of the Christians. Upon the retreat of Cestius, the Jews, sallying from Jerusalem, pursued after his retiring army. And while both forces were, fully, were thus fully engaged, the Christians had an opportunity to leave the city. At this time, the country also had been cleared of enemies who might have endeavored to intercept it. At the time of the siege, the Jews were assembled at Jerusalem to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. And thus, the Christians throughout the land were able to make their escape unmolested. Which time period was it? Welche Zeit war das? Tabernacles, right? Das Fest der Laubhütten. What does the Feast of Tabernacles represent? Was stellt das Fest der Laubhütten dar? Enjoy The second coming, right? Okay. So, and thus the Christians throughout the land were able to make their escape unmolested. Without delay, they fled to a place of safety, the city of Pella in the land of Perea beyond Jordan. So they were now in Christ, right? And that would be an agreement. When the story we're looking at, the story of Joseph, every time you come here, he's right with God, or God is with him. He has the spirit, he has discernment. To understand the truth, right? Das wäre in Übereinstimmung mit dem, was wir angeschaut haben. Immer wenn man ähm, so hierhin ankommt, also zu einer Zeit des Friedens, dann ist ähm, Gott mit ihm. Er hat das richtige Unterscheidungsvermögen. Er wird gesegnet. Der Geist ist mit ihm und so weiter. Träume. Und er kann Träume deuten. Okay, next paragraph. Mm -hmm. Nächster Absatz. 
the Jewish forces pursuing after Cestius and his army fell upon their rear with such fierceness as to threaten them with total destruction. It was with great difficulty that the Romans succeeded in making their retreat. The Jews escaped almost without loss and with their spoils returned in triumph to Jerusalem. Yet this apparent success brought them only evil. It inspired them with that spirit of stubborn resistance to the Romans which speedily brought unutterable woe upon the doomed city. Right? And that's when Hydus returned, right? Seven Titus then zurückkam. So all that takes place prior to this, right? All das muss ja vor diesem Punkt stattfinden. Oh, so from my perspective, when we understand this, this illustration that takes place in Ukraine begins here, right? Das meiner Perspektive, diese Darstellung, die in der Ukraine stattfindet, das fängt hier an. Right? It's an illustration all by itself that we are to look at, not, not based upon the time that it's happening, but we are to look at it and understand the symbols where they begin and where they're going to bring us to an end, right? We müssen uns, das ist eine Darstellung, die für sich selbst steht und wir müssen eben, ähm, ja, nicht jetzt in Bezug auf die Zeit, sondern ähm, schauen, welche Ereignisse, wo das anfängt und wo das aufhört. For, for instance, right? Zum Beispiel. Pass me that to roll, please. Uh, so, thank you. Um, just to give you some food for thought. Damit ihr ein bisschen Gedankenfutter erhaltet. And when I, when I spoke about this point when we were up in Germany. Also, wo ich über diesen Punkt gesprochen habe, als wir in Deutschland waren. I never seen so many struggles on people's faces. Da habe right? ich nie so viele Kämpfe auf den... Uh, oder Schwierigkeiten gesehen äh, auf den Gesichtern. And all it, all it did was prove me is how we are still thinking. Und das right? hat mir einfach gezeigt, wie wir immer noch denken. T terrible, right? It's like a curse upon us, the way that we think. Das, right? das ist schrecklich, dass es wie ein Fluch für uns, auf, äh, wie wir noch denken. Okay, so this, right, is 1260. Right? Das hier ist ja 1260. Here you would have 538. Here we would have what? Das wir hier. 1798. Right. So according to the prophecy, the next thing prophetically that will perfectly fulfill would be the Sunday law. Right? Mr. Prophetie, das nächste, was sich vollkommen erfüllen wird, ist das Sonntagsgesetz. Deadly wound. Tödliche Wunde. So the, the next thing that's going to happen is the deadly wound is going to be healed, right? Das nächste, was geschehen wird, ist, dass die tödliche Wunde geheilt werden wird. Okay. What do we have? Was haben wir? What do we have? Also 1798, dann 1844, was haben wir? What about was mit 1989, 9 11? Yes, this is all happening in the time of. It's not a little time of peace. It's a time of peace, right? Also, das passiert alles in der Zeit des Friedens, nicht in der kleinen Zeit. Yes, no, it's, it's history playing out, right? But they are types, right? Die Geschichte, die sich abspielt, aber das sind ja Typen. Okay, and the looks I had on people's faces when I, I put this in here, right? Because they are playing out in real time, right? Wenn Sie mich heute angeschaut haben, als ich das hier reingeschrieben habe, ähm, weil das findet ja in der Echtzeit statt. And they are types, right? Und das sind ja Typen. So, <laughs> we can say... I can just I put UKR, right? Meaning the Ukrainian war. Right? It's also playing out in there, right? But every that you can take, right, out and well it would go on this whole thing, the two Sunday laws, right? 
Also man kann eben das hier nehmen und man kann es hier so auslegen auf die zwei Sonntagsgesetze. Okay, 19, 19, 9, 11, this would be from here to here, right? 89 bis 9, 11 wäre von hier bis hier. And this Ukraine war also, right? Dieser Ukraine Krieg auch. Our whole line is playing out, right, in this time period, leading down to a time of peace before we get to the Sunday war, right? Unsere ganze Linie, die findet statt in dieser Zeitspanne, das alles noch bevor das Sonntagsgesetz kommt. Okay. Okay, es führt zu einer Zeit des Friedens vor dem Sonntagsgesetz. Okay, so doesn't have, it's got nothing to do with the prophetic illustration of the time of peace, right? Mit der der Zeit des zu tun. Because the time of peace represents, right, a time where God's people have freedom to practice their religion, right? Until that freedom is finally taken away, right? And these things here are living illustrations or living parables, right? That we are meant to be studying and he, he allows them to play out so that we can learn them, right? Right? To prepare us for what's going to play out when we get here, right? Dass äh, wir dann wissen, was sich abspielt, wenn wir zum Sonntagsgesetz kommen. So, within our line from 1989 down to the end, right? In unserer, oder innerhalb unserer Linie von 1989 bis zum Ende. The Ukraine conflict is also playing out, da right? Da spielt sich der Ukraine Konflikt auch ab. And it's playing out at the very same time as you have this war between Trump and Biden, das right? spielt sich zum selben Zeitpunkt ab, wo man eben diesen Krieg zwischen äh, Trump und Biden hat. Right? <laughs> If you were confused, I, I was also confused. I, I thought, how can we have these two things running simultaneously, right? Ihr verwirrt seid, ich war auch verwirrt und uh, wir haben uns gefragt, wie, uh, wie kann das, diese zwei Dinge gleichzeitig stattfinden? Okay. God is not the author of confusion, right? God is not the author of confusion. Now remember Ezekiel, prior to him having the revelation, how was his mind? And remember to him Ezekiel, before he had the revelation, how was his mind? Confusion. Confusion, confusion right? Verwirrt. Okay, we read the other day Daniel. Daniel heard, but he didn't understand, right? We read it yesterday. Daniel had heard, but he didn't understand. And he had to ask in order for him to receive understanding, right? And Ezekiel is called the morning prophet. He was seeking, Lord, help me to see this great vision, line upon line, wheels within the wheels, right? Ezekiel was this crying prophet. He had prayed, Lord, help me that I can see this great vision, line upon line. Right? Because it, it, in, when you read about that vision, it says everything that beforehand was in confusion. He saw, he saw was perfect harmony, right? Wenn man das Zitat liest, da sagt es alles, was er zuvor in dieser Vision gesehen hatte, was Verwirrung war, das ist dann in eine perfekte Harmonie gekommen. My thoughts are not your thoughts, right? Meine Gedanken sind nicht eure Gedanken. Okay, so we just have to accept that, right? When we don't understand something, think right. Can we see this? And the answer is yes, right? Wir müssen es akzeptieren. Wenn wir etwas nicht verstehen, müssen wir uns fragen, können wir das sehen? Do, ja. we, do we also see this? Yes, we see this, right? Sehen wir das da auch? Ja, das können wir auch sehen. And get on our knees say, Lord, please help me to understand this, that I do not pervert your thoughts, right? Und wir müssen dann auf unsere Knie gehen und sagen, Herr, hilf mir das zu verstehen, dass ich deine Gedanken nicht verdrehe. Okay. So we have to, because God is not the author of confusion, right? Das ist ja nicht der Autor der Verwirrung. We have to be able to harmonize this truth with this war, this living parable that's going on at this same time, right? Wir müssen ja ähm, diese Wahrheit hier, diesen Krieg, harmonisieren mit ähm, diesem 
Ukraine-Krieg, der gerade zu selben Zeit stattfindet. And by doing this, then we should be able to identify where we are on our line, right? Wenn wir das tun, können wir dann identifizieren, wo wir auf unserer Linie sind. Okay, so and this is the purpose of doing the, the study, right? Das ist der Zweck dieses Studiums. Okay. Um, Okay, so what what you have when you we, we looked at Rome. Rome came and destroyed Jerusalem, right? Wir haben uns angeschaut, Rome kam, um Jerusalem zu zerstören. Burned it up with fire, right? Er hat es mit Feuer verbrannt. So when we read Matthew 22 verse 7, it's speaking about Rome and Babylon, Wenn right? Matthäus 22 Vers 7 lesen, spricht das ja über Rom und Babylon. Because all the prophets are speaking about the End of the world, Weil right? alle Propheten sprechen über das Ende der Welt. Okay, so, but as we can see, right, you have these illustrations on different levels, right? Wie wir sehen können, hat man aber diese Darstellung auf verschiedenen Ebenen. Okay, so for some time, all we've been doing is we've been dealing with the the pattern in the in the the line, right? Und für einige Zeit haben wir dieses Muster hier innerhalb der Linie behandelt. Right, but we can see that this same pattern you can find here. Man right? kann aber sehen, dass wir hier dieses selbe Muster auch hier drin finden. That's this one, right? Das wäre das hier. And you just parallel is exactly the same, Wenn right? Wenn man das parallel setzt, ist das genau dasselbe. It's fractals. God's dealing with man is ever the same, right? Das sind Fraktale. Gottes Handel mit dem Menschen ist immer dasselbe. So every time there's a servant raised up, he must have gone through this sort of experience so that he has now the, the movement grows each time as it goes along, right? Wenn ein Knecht aufgerichtet wird, dann muss er diese selbe Erfahrung haben und die Bewegung, die wächst dann ähm, an, also jeden Zeitpunkt. Okay, so I want to make a suggestion that the this war in Ukraine has been illustrated in this time, right? Ich möchte den Vorschlag geben, dass dieser Krieg in der Ukraine in dieser Zeit dargestellt wird. Now we just read in Great Controversy, right, that when Cestius hastes away and leads to a time of peace, right? Wir haben gerade im großen Kampf gelesen, wenn Cestius wegflieht, führt es zu einer Zeit des Friedens. There has to be a time of peace because he has to have people who are in the refuge city, right? Es muss eine Zeit des Friedens geben, weil äh, es muss Leute geben, die in der Zufluchtsstadt sind. What does it mean to be in the refuge city? Was bedeutet es in der Zufluchtsstadt zu sein? In Christ, in Christ right? In Christus. A people with the spirit who are now going to give the warning about Titus going to come, right? Die Leute, die den Geist haben und die eine Warnung geben können, bevor Titus kommt. Represented by Joel, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, etc. Right? Uh, Joel, Ezekiel, and so okay, so we've been we've been reading all these stories, right? But trying to understand exactly where where are we right now, right? Okay, so and the point is what if you just look at the illustration of what happened with Rome. We, we, we saw Putin come up and surround spiritual Jer this type of Jerusalem, Kiev, right? And um, we have halt gesehen, that um, Putin uh, heraufkam and he had um, this typus of uh, Jerusalem umlagert. Right, and we, we saw him hasting away, right? Genau, also den Typus von Jerusalem, was Kiew war, und dann haben wir gesehen, dass er weggeeilt ist. Right. But when you when you read it, it says that when the, when they hasted away, the Jews went after them, right? And they got such a victory over them, they, they nearly destroyed them, right? Now that we haven't seen, right? Und das um, hat dann gesagt, wenn als er weggeeilt ist, sind die Juden nach ihm hinterhergegangen und haben so einen Sieg über sie bekommen, dass sie sie fast zerstört haben. Das haben wir aber noch nicht gesehen. Okay, so I've been thinking about this for some time that this I mean, we've just got this counter offensive that's just begun, right? Und ähm, ich habe darüber schon längere Zeit nachgedacht und da ist ja jetzt diese Gegenoffensive, die gerade angefangen hat. So, if I would understand it correctly, this counter offensive 
this will go very well, right? And it will seem like they're going to defeat the, the Russians. Right? Wenn ich das richtig verstehe, dann wird die Gegenoffensive sehr gut laufen und sie werden die Russen schlagen. But it's all seen as Okay, go, go, go to Jeremiah 37. We will, we will close with these thoughts because I don't want to start this next thought that we will do tomorrow. Jeremiah 37 verse 10. Now, before we read verse 10, go to verse... Uh, five. It says, Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Right? So, who did the, the, the northern army hear tidings of? Von wem hat die Nordarmee ähm, solche Botschaften oder Nachrichten gehört? Pharaoh, so. Von Pharao. Who's Pharaoh's army? Wer ist Pharaos? What does it represent? Was stellt es dar? No way, you can, uh, don't even go there. You're now saying, you're, you're now bringing in the, all, all those things that we've put in and you're making... Biden and all that be the south. That's what you would be doing by saying that. Well, the, 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 Pharaoh is the south, right? And remember, this is this is the Sunday law is the illustration of the war between the north and the south, right? So when you come to the beginning here. How are the north and south? What, what does it say in Revelation 13? The whole world is brought together through, through deception, right? Okay. So, when this illustration happened, when Putin came up with the northern army, it represents the whole world. We went through this, Gog and Magog, right? Which is both north and south. Right? So when the south rises up, where does it come from? It come, it's an internal thing, right? Okay, so my question is, do we see an, an internal uprising in Russia? Uh, an, an in yes. And, well, yes, if you've been watching the news. If you've not been watching, then you won't see it, right? Okay, so you've got all these uh, Russian soldiers who've been helping uh, Ukraine forming a small army and they've even invaded Russia and proclaimed themselves as the freedom fighters of Russia, right? You said it's more. Also, man had eine kleine Armee, die sich zusammengebracht hat von den Russen und die helfen eben der Ukraine und sie haben sogar Russland sind in Russland sozusagen einmarschiert oder eingedrungen und haben sich als diese Okay, and at the moment they say they're, they're growing, people are joining them, right? Okay, so you, you see this, we have to identify this, what does it mean, right? Okay, it hasn't fully manifested itself yet, but it, it is growing, right? So go back to chapter 37. It says, Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans besieged Jerusalem, heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, right? So they departed in the sense that they had to go deal with the Egyptians, right? Verse 6, also sie sind von Jerusalem weggegangen, weil sie mussten eben gegen die Ägypter kämpfen. 
Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say to the king of Judah that sent you unto me to inquire of me, Behold, Pharaoh's army, which is come forth to help you, shall return to Egypt into their own land. And the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against the city and take it and burn it with fire. So verse 8 here, if you were to parallel that with Rome, what would it represent? Vers 8, wenn man das jetzt parallel setzt mit Rom, was würde es darstellen? Titus, right? Titus. Okay. It says, Take it and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For though ye had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans that fight against you, and there remained but wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent and burn this city with fire. So how is it going to look like? Wie wird das ausschauen? What is it? What does it say in verse 10? How is it going to look like? Sagt es in Vers 10, wie wird das aussehen? It's going to look like Russia gets defeated, right? So aussehen, als würde Russland besiegt werden. Okay, but the, from the human perspective, they're going to say, well, look, they've been defeated. There's no chance that they are coming back now with a great army. They're going to take Kiev, right? Aus der, ähm, der menschlichen Perspektive würde das dann also so aussehen, dass wir Russland jetzt besiegt und äh, es gibt doch keine Chance, dass sie jetzt zurückkommen mit einer großen Armee und Kiew verbrennen. And you can be sure, brothers and sisters, that this verse right here is going to test us. Und wir können sicher sein, Geschwister, dass dieser Vers hier uns prüfen wird. Because it will look impossible, right? Weil es wird unmöglich ausschauen. But it says, don't deceive yourselves. Aber right? es sagt, lasst euch nicht verführen. Right? Because, anyway, there's much more we can say about this and we will continue these thoughts tomorrow. Es gibt right? noch sehr viel mehr, was wir dazu sagen können. Und mit den Gedanken werden wir auch morgen noch fortfahren. Okay. Lot, lot to think about, right? Okay, let's say anyway, let's close with prayer. through these points and that we uh, can have a better understanding of uh, the current U Ukraine war and also thank you that you uh, have one to explain to us the Ukraine krieg's haben können and also thank you that you want to explain to us how to rightly divide these different illustrations und ich danke dir dass du uns auch erklären willst wie wir diese verschiedenen darstellungen richtig teilen können that we can get uh, out of our narrow thinking und dass wir aus unserer engständigen denkweise rauskommen können and see the uh, prophetic patterns in all these different scenarios und dass wir das prophetische muster in all diesen verschiedenen szenarien sehen können and that you can bring order into all confusion und dass du ordnung in alle verwirrung bringen kannst that we can see your hand guiding the wheels within the wheels. Dass wir deine Hand sehen können, die die Räder in den Rädern führt. And that your throne is truly above all earthly dominion. Dass dein Thron wahrhaftig über alle irdische Oberherrschaft ist. And Lord, we ask you therefore that you would please uh, open our eyes and ears. Und wir bitten dich deshalb, Herr, dass du unsere Augen und Ohren öffnest. That we can see these Evidences for ourselves. Dass wir diese Beweise für uns selbst sehen können. That we can have a firm faith established upon your word. Dass wir einen festen Glauben haben können, der etabliert ist auf deinem Wort. And that we would uh, then walk by faith and not by sight. Dass wir dann durch Glauben und nicht durch Schauen wandeln. And we ask Lord that you would please uh, bless us at this remaining day. Und wir bitten dich Herr, dass du uns an diesem übrigen Tag segnest. And uh, help us to think upon these things and to uh, ask of you to uh, make it more understandable for each one of us. Hilf uns über diese Dinge nachzudenken und uh, mach es noch verständlicher für jeden einzelnen von uns. And we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen.